go on please like do this for me this way this way maybe like you do something like that i don't know i i haven't i mean i so i don't know from all i have read there wasn't anything like that but as the brand i guess as a muslim you will expect to be honored and respected in that way and be buried in that way especially if the if he practices his religion but then there is this also this thing that whole oh, but oba as in like in yoruba dynasty or like the yoruba tradition oba is like stems out from the fact that it is a it is a from a your i don't know how to say this but they i guess the traditionalists just see that oh because this is like this is oba as in oba alafin of oyo and he should expect to follow accordingly traditionally do you get what i mean does that make sense? <laughs> oh, it's so weird. It's so... I mean, the notion was that, oh, but Oba, as in Alafim, is tradition. Like, King is tradition in that way. It was selected from tradition. It wasn't selected from religion. Do you get what I mean? Like, he became Oba because of tradition, not religion. But you know, but I'll say I'll I'll, I'll think that he became Oba because like maybe because of his education, because of his lineage, because and so many other factors, not just because of the tradition. You know, the being a king or being royal in well, it's different in every state or every um, every uh, tribe in Nigeria. I mean, like the way the Yoruba dictators is different from like the the Hausas. Or like the Igbos or Horhobo or the Joy effect, I don't know. Any other kind of um, any other kind of kingship royal in Nigeria. Like I feel like it will be it's different for each particular tribe. Okay, you know, I want to advocate so much that I'm advocating for the diseased way of a I, I, I'm sure that it's part of um, your bad tradition that there is afterlife, so you kind of want to help this diseased person move on to the next life, which I believe the Muslim clerics have done in terms of like they pray the janazah for him and that, but then they came so oh he has to, they have to do traditional rites because he's oba. I feel like if you want to look at this in a logistic kind of viewpoint, to be like, say, the Oba is, is I mean, like, although he's a king, like, is it should be still be treated the same way as like the common man or like the lead person. Like, there is no, no, um, special rights. You know, every, like in, in in Islam, regardless if you're an imam or if you are, I don't know, a king or if you're any or if you're like some kind of important person, you get your janaza prayer, janaza bath, and you are buried a certain way. But then for the, because like he's a king now, then it's like, oh yeah, we have to perform all this right. And then I'm like, did the king actually agree to this? Like did he like have like a written something that's, oh, it should be, res it should, it, it had like a written, funeral rights because i know some people you know some people actually do this like you know some people be like oh don't don't like do celebration you know how like people do 40 days 100 days blah blah and they throw big parties some people actually go out of there with like when i don't create like come some kind of scene or chaos when i die like throw parties or something like that and give it to charity but that's the rights of the deceased like you respect their wishes like that Okay, it's so weird talking about this because I, I thought that I shared that. It's so weird. I don't even know why this is a topic. If the king has like a written agreement or a written something, or if it's something that he 
he voiced so out when like they were even having like, conversations like to protect the interests of this person and like you know just bury them in a certain way that they want and not like you know but then at the same time you don't you know, honestly tradition and cultures are good but you know you should only speak pick on like the good ones they, I mean like some cultural um, elements or cultural things are like not very healthy and not so good I guess we learn from each other in a new way every day and like if you see something good you can like you can learn from it if you see something bad you can speak against it talk to, and everything like that like you you only I mean as a person you only reason that you know if this thing is good then I can like inhabit it but if it's bad then I cannot I don't know so much about the Oba laughing or for you or for you I don't know so much so it's like I mean what can you say So you kind of see this as as it unfolds and I'm like, you know, and now it's between like the religion, the religious, um, the, like the Muslim who had just prayed to the dead and because like it was, the way it was displayed, how it was, it was displayed, I guess. I mean, they do, I, I didn't show anything in regards to like how they do the traditional rites for the death. They didn't show any of that. But I mean, this is just to show that you know many things happened, like you know, as a living person and even as a dead person, and it's so weird. I feel so odd about it, and I was like, you know, let me just you know say a few things and like you know give my thoughts about it and that's why this video is being done <laughs> hmm. yeah but what do you think what do you think like because I, I feel that is a Muslim or he practices the religion so if it practices really the religion then I mean like in terms of Muslim Islam and Christian like I'm, I'm pretty sure like both religion preach monotheism and if you want to add tradition or tradition to this or by right you it's like you're saying that he practice polytheism as well and I was just you. And there was a time that I was reading some things about Yoruba. And it's like Yoruba is really practically monotheism, as in like Olodumare, like the only one God, like the supreme being, and everything. It's just like as, as time goes on, then like people start putting Orisha and like you know all those Irumale, and then you have like you know um, some other, and then people start like believing and like ascribing as like partners to like the Olodumare but like the supreme brain like Olodumare like Olodumare like the only one God but who knows what's going on with this like the tradition people I mean like the traditionalists and then they be like say oh um but you are selected that was what I was talking about before like it was chosen because then the thinking was that it was chosen as Oba or Alafi true traditions because I mean like Oba and oh this is weird you can see it like this the way of government of government in Yoruba dynasty or Yoruba empire empire is true Oba it's true Oba and if you want to go back to that way so you can go tradition like the religion but then the tradition and culture is not even a religion but it just practices right so hmm yes that's the notion like oh it was chosen like as a ruler for the Yoruba like the kingdom and not like for like 
the Islamic or Muslim ideology or the king before him. He, I think he was like Gadi Kesin Ladu Bolu, the recent the Obalamidi, he succeeded the Ladi Gadi Kesin, who is like the Adeyemi second, and he is the Adeyemi third. So it's so interesting how all this is and like, it says so much about like the how, how conflicting it can get i mean if you go to like the outside just emir and like not that there aren't like christian hausa but like majority are muslims and like you know and even though like the outside people also have like their traditional religion before like majority of them converted to islam but then if you go to the outside, like the northern side is like, you know, Emir, 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 like, like Emir of Filoni or Kano or whatever. And like, you know, I don't think like this problem of course, like them being like, oh, but he was like a traditional ruler since like he is chosen for like true, like the Yoruba kingship or, you know, the ideology and not for like the Islamic thing. And then it just comes to the fact that, oh, because he is, be, be, you know, I, I, I see the argument then that the, the tradition want to get recognized, which are being, which for a fact, I mean, like, it's not like he changed his name from like Adi Yemi to like, you know, I don't know, um, I mean, Mustafa or something like the, the, the Yoruba culture, the names are still there. Like, the, if you're talking about traditional culture, it's like the, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure that the names will be part of it. The Lamidi, Lamidi is, I'm pretty sure, is Muslim name. Lamidi. Would you say like that's literally translate to Lamurudu or Limurid or something? Hmm. Interesting. But I, I I think Lamidi, Lamid, Lamidi is Hamid, because I think Lamidi is from Hamid, so Lamidi, I'm not sure, don't quote me, please, but I think it's a Muslim name. So all this, uh, like, arguments just turns out, of, oh, the tradition wants to get recognized, as in, like, oh, once, like, the Oba start doing it, once they pick the Oba, then, like, the Oba now see that oh, if he's a Christian, then he's only going, he's only just going to be or like perform Christian rites and everything, and forget this tradition that gave him this position that is him. And which honestly, I don't think like the Oba forgets. I mean, who can forget being given that extreme position in life? always feel that it comes down to like recognition and appreciation in terms of like the tradition that puts them in that space because you know the tradition recognizes the family that's how the person become oba and they recognize the names and everything but when it comes to like the practices and some like you know prayer rights or maybe like having some kind of shikidi in the house or um having some kind of i don't know some amulets or something like that that's that states that you are seeking for protection or for seeking for more things in other than the supreme god like the allah or god or and then that's when the like the problem comes in like i've heard this like countless time and it happens like when i was like in my own city and like you know the robber died and they're like oh they find a new one's like oh but like they want they want this and there are so many arguments there are so many fights like oh he's not going to do this like I mean, like the arguments just go on and go on. We like, oh, the Islam is a foreign religion. Like the African are embracing this religion. Like, why are they embracing this religion? Like the Arabs are, like you know, the way they, the way the Arabs treated the African in those days. You know, there's yeah, there's so many arguments. Like, oh, the, why are you like? supporting or advocating or even practicing the religion that doesn't recognize the the state or the human rights of the African.
Africans. We can make arguments for that, but ultimately it comes down to the individual's choice. And sometimes, you know, like, you know, this or by or this situation, you are not even uh, ignored in terms of their wants or rights or if they want to be. Uh, if they want to be in a certain way, like if this Oba has said that I want to be buried in this right, like in the Muslim rights and Muslim name, I guess that will nullify everything about like he doesn't want to associate like as a traditionalist or anything like that. Now they're saying like he has like Muslim burial rights, like as in like they pray Janessa. And then after, like, he was taken inside for other warrior rights as traditions, like, it's like, you know, if you're, if you're all bad, then you, it's like, they, they expect you to be, like, traditionalist, still practice the religion and do this thing. It's interesting. And it's frustrating and it's, I mean, some, if you think about what every person's opinion, like they have a point there, this point, that point, but then ultimately it comes down to the person and what they want. And when you are a public figure and, I mean, you don't have this kind of argument when like the president die or like the injury die or something like that. But when it comes to Oba, Oba of like, you know, it's not the first time that this happened. If another, if another Oba died in the future, there will still be this argument. Oh, the traditional this want to have their right to, they want to do, they want to like perform this right because they believe that they are the one that puts him in the position, and not that the Islamic. I mean, like. I mean, I'm just stating my opinion. I don't know what the argument about it. From what I read, he, the Oba was raised uh, in a strict, in a strict um, Catholic home. So, and maybe he later converted into um, Islam or something. I don't know. But apparently, he was practicing. You know, it just confuses a lot. As in, like, okay, so are you saying that he practices? or their religion when he was alive. They, is it because just like the Muslim have their own right and then the traditionalists feel like they have to have a right on this body to perform on, you know, without... Well, what is the case then? I'm kind of, I'm kind of intrigued by like what was going on, what was going on, in, and he died in this Ramadan. Like, usually I don't talk about like politics of um, kingship or royal or um, even like uh, governorship or presidential or whatever. I don't really like no, like you won't really see me talking about it because like it's oh it's not that it's boring it's just a lot to take in and if you're talking about corruptions and like embezzlement and, I mean sometimes you just don't want to like even make an input at all because of how conflicting like the whole situation is I mean in terms of Nigeria like a corrupted or corruptive society it's Yeah, I'm making like a lot of funny faces. But like, yes, that's what I want to talk. Like, it just the barrier rights and like, I mean, like, if he has a written statement or like a spoken statement, like how he want to be like buried, then I guess. But if he doesn't, then everybody now feels like they have rights to this body. Like, oh, he's part of this organization. We chose him because like this. Da 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 da. I mean, he's a Muslim, so the the, the Muslim prefer him to right. And but then I don't think he was buried as Muslim.
which is kind of I'm like what is going on what is going on because it was it was performed the janaza was performed but then like they took the but maybe later on the Muslim came back and then they went to burn bury him and uh like facing the Qibla but then or maybe not maybe like the traditionals just take over and then and then that's just it man like this Oba just died and like all this argument was happening and like you know may Allah forgive him his shortcomings and you know granting Jannah and yeah which is what we should be actually doing and not like having so much fuss about this but you know I don't know what do you think about it I told you like what happened in my town too like there's always arguments in terms of when they get on the positions and after and so much so what do you think about it straightforward written words everybody um, respect the right of the deceased like they want to be they want to be buried or taken this way not that way you know it's kind of like and then that's over, like, oh, they um, respect the wishes of the dead as their final rights or final respect that you can give them, really. I didn't really see so much about, like, he was displayed in front of the people and then he was, like, he, they were praying. Like, I just saw that they were praying and they performed the rites. I mean, that should be enough. But then the tradition like, oh, it's not respectful how it was displayed. I mean, like, death is can come suddenly. That's why they say that you always prepared for. And so what do you think about it so thing? What do you think? I mean may God forgive me his shortcomings and grant him China and have mercy on all of us and Ramadan Mubarak subscribe like and so subscribe like and comment and share and yeah that's what I want to see. And this happens so much. And especially like if the Anyways, you know, I guess some other time for stopping. But yes, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and bye. Speak to you soon and another time. Salam.